My manly new pink 3DS XL. She is hungry for a new Pokemon game. What will this awesome masculine pink 3DS XL get? You know, I thought that this, you know, because we've had kind of a lack of news about Pokemon X and Y, you know, we only have six new Pokemon announced, one is in one new form, two of uh, the aforementioned entities are uh, based on older existing one, ones any Pokemon anyway, and not much else, really. We've seen a few screenshots, a few, I mean, a little bit of footage. We know the region might be based on France, I mean, probably based on France, and I thought that because of like, since it's been many months now, we and that's really, we don't know much, that much more than we did in the Pokemon X and Y trailer. Like, like when the trailer was first released, and then just news about this uh, had first uh, come about. I thought that fan speculation would have a greater hold on the fandom in the upcoming, and it would have a greater impact on the fandom in the, in the upcoming release of Pokemon X and Y than the upcoming releases of pretty much any other gen simply because, of course, of the lack of news. But then it dawned on me, I really can't speculate that much on Pokemon X and Y because of the information we do have, what other pieces of information can I extrapolate from them? I mean, take Sylveon, for example. Uh, Sylveon, I think, is... People are talking about Sylveon's typing, and pretty much that's the only piece of news where uh, we can really... Uh, speculate on. I mean, what can we really speculate on about uh, Xerneas and Eveltal, the Virgin Legendaries? You can debate, like, we can perhaps extrapolate where they came from, but to get any probable declarations uh, about what these new Pokemon, about the details of this new gen is almost impossible, quite frankly, with very few exceptions, such as Sylveon's typing, as I just mentioned. So, I don't think I can create a video where I speculate on any of the new information what I can do is I can offer my wish list and what I ideally want. But before I do that, I will give um, a bit of my two cents on some of the speculation going on at the moment. And the first one is about type matchups, like kind of I mentioned earlier, of course, you know, with Sylveon. Uh, people are discussing perhaps adding new types, which I I wouldn't necessarily rule that out as a possibility. I don't see it as horribly likely since second gen was the only time they did that, and I don't really see that much of a need for a new typing. I mean, not to mention it would it pretty much overcomplicate <laughs> the, type, the type matchups are already pretty complicated, and I don't think it needs to get any more complicated. And the big one, though, that people want I've seen uh, some suggestions for sound type, and uh, with Sylveon's appearance, some people have speculated possibly a fairy type. The big one, though, is the light type. Ever since Gen 3, people have wanted a light type sort of counter. Whenever you see a darkness element, obviously Obviously, it's usually, there's also a light element accompanying it, and it's sort of an elemental matchup with, you know, type advantages, but I see that as kind of unlikely and problematic for one big reason. You see, the dark type in Japan is called the Aku type. Now, the Japanese, I'm told the Japanese equivalent of dark would be yami, and uh, Aku translates more to bad or evil than than it does, like, shadowy or gothic, you know, darkness in English. If you Now, if you look at some of the names of some of the moves of uh, dark type, we have moves like Thief, Embargo, Beat Up, where all the Pokemon in your party have a hand in attacking the opponent. We have a Sucker Punch. Aside from Night Days, most of these seem to be about taking sort of cheap shots at your opponent. Um, there's also Dark Pulse, but the Japanese name of that is Evil Pulse, and it's about immersing dark, you know, malicious thoughts. So even then, it's not really so much shadowy, gothic creatures so much as malicious intent and dirty fighting, you know, being un necessarily cruel would be another good way to describe it. That's more or less the sense I get from the dark type um, when you look at its Japanese name and some of the Japanese names of the moves, like I just mentioned. So I think a light type is pretty unlikely. The second big uh, speculation thing I see would be that there's going to be a Pokemon Z after this. Or Pokemon Z, I mean, sorry. And this is referring uh, to the XYZ axes of the, of, you know, the 
X being the horizontal, the Y being the vertical, and Z being depth. But the issue with that is, um, in the Japanese logos, you can see a small DNA helix in them. And considering that this generation is starting to be implied to be a bit about genetics, especially with the new Mewtwo form, as of course Mewtwo was a result of genetic engineering, it seems more likely to me that the X and Y uh, refers to X and Y chromosomes rather than the uh, axes of the 3D. And the other speculation that kind of goes along with that would be about the third version. And I guess it's going to sort of tie into my wish list thing, but I really wish that they won't do another third version because with Pokemon Black and White, I'm so... Ever since we got a taste of what happens when they don't go that route, because I loved Pokemon X and Pokemon Y, it was really good, and I don't want them to go back to just making a third updated version. A kind of good case scenario, I guess, would be them to do the same thing they did with Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. My, uh, if I could control what they did, though, I would want them to make, uh, go even further, because Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 were kind of a mission pack sequel that was mostly just like their, uh, it was still an updated version of their predecessors, if you know what I mean, even though it was an entirely new story. With the other ones, it was complete, uh, retelling of the same story with some tweaks. With this one, you have some new areas, and, uh, but even then, they still heavily reused assets from the previous game, so these next sequels could be completely new, uh, if they're gonna make that, we could have completely new regions, and you explore completely new styles of battling, if, for the sequel to Pokemon X and Y. That kind of also ties into what I should say about, uh, the first part of my wish list. It's, uh, making some fundamental changes to the gameplay. This is because I think you've we've all seen criticism directed at the Pokemon games of a lack of innovation. Now, not, now Pokemon isn't the only series to have that criticism levied at them. Pretty much the bulk of the gaming industry, any series, the bulk of it anyway, gets that sort of same flack thrown at them. A lack of innovation. And even the game industry itself is often, not even just the game industry, but really media in general is often accused of, you know, rehashes and uh, reusing ideas and not changing things and staying with a safe formula. I have a bit of a contention with that mindset. If some uh, gameplay kind of style, if some type of game has become kind of stale to you, to be honest, it seems like uh, the issue is more with you than with the game. Well, like, the game shouldn't be the one rectifying that. It's you who should be going to a different game, if you know what I'm saying. Like, I don't really see the real way the game should accommodate you. To take an extreme example, it's like if you play the exact same section of a game, like, over and over again for, like, 20 hours, I wouldn't necessarily say that the game programmers should have made the accommodations to that specific situation so that you wouldn't find that one level, you know, really stale because you played it for 20 hours straight. Because what's stale for one person, remember, might not be stale for another person. If you want to move on from a game series for a while, another person would have could have the opportunity to start. That criticism of staleness is completely irrelevant to the newcomer, right? That's my big uh, contention there. But I do see the validity of the argument in that I don't see a reason why you should keep buying new iterations of a game if you feel it's too much rehashes. Now, if you're a fan of the series, you're it's probably not going to seem nearly as bad to you because you're going to notice the subtle differences that um, most people who aren't as into the game as in-depth as you are would notice. Like, to most people, pretty much every Pokemon game is the same, but within the community, you obviously debate over the best region, you know, huh, which one felt, which one had the best gym leaders or the style of, um, and the atmosphere of each. But for the outs people outside of the fandom who are, I guess, have more of a passing interest in uh, a game series, they don't have an incentive to keep constantly, like, buy new iterations of the series. So in that sense, I totally uh, get what they have to say. And if you think about it, a newcomer coined to Pokemon, if I were to recommend a, a game to the series of them... <clears throat> and they weren't really a fan of, uh, they weren't a fairly hardcore fan of the series, I would recommend them Pokemon Black 2 and White 2. I would not recommend them any earlier iterations of the series, though, because Black 2 and White 2 is all the updates and whatnot, and because it's the best, since the others are all kind of, are all, they're too similar 
for um for me to recommend them another one if they're not that hardcore fan of the series i just recommend pokemon black 2 to them or white 2 and which e- either one of those so in that sense that's where i think the argument of a lack of innovation has some ground or not ground um validity uh now, I can, I guess, how how specifically would I want the series to innovate? Just as an example. Well, you know how in Gen 3, <laughs> you know how in Gen 3 they had the Battle Frontier and introduced double battles? I really wish those ended up being a bit more integral to the game. But they still had, as, as long as they still included some single battles, you know, looking at you, Pokemon Coliseum, throughout the main story, if they included those more throughout, the experience would have felt quite a bit different, would it not? Not only that, but the battle frontier they had in Emerald, and those new sort of styles of battle, if that were more integral to the rest of the game, I think it would have been significantly better, and significantly newer, more to the point. Because some people, even the version of the battle frontier they did have, even though I kind of liked the idea of the Battle Frontier, I think they kind of wasted a concept. I was talking about uh, the after game of Pokemon in a forum once. Fora, I should say. Some Fora once. And a lot of the people said they found the Battle Frontier to be really repetitive and that it would get kind of cheap at the end just to make sure that the like, the more we went on, they'd only really increase the difficulty by making the opponents really cheap towards the player. But if that were more integral to the rest of the game, I think that it would have been significantly better handled. So just doing that alone for Pokemon X and Y, that would be significantly, I think, a big improvement. And that's just an example. They could take the series so many ways. And another, uh, my next sort of area of my wish list... Um, the first was just, you know, improving, changing the series, changing the series fundamentally in some areas. This one's going to be about the ways we can improve upon the formula we do have already. One big gripe I've had with the series is that when you're going along the routes fi- fighting the regular trainer battles, I've never found those fun. I like the gym leader battles a lot better. Granted, if you're playing, like, really strategically, the gym leaders, too, won't actually be that big of a threat to you m- a lot of the time. I don't tend to play all that strategically just through the main game, because of course it's Pokemon, I can be quite played casually, you know. I don't really need to think of that much about strategy, I just want to, you know, use some of the favorites, like my favorite ones, or just the ones that I feel like using at the time. So the boss fights, you know, with the gym leaders, the, uh, the rival battles, the, like, sort of, uh, higher-ups in those evil crime syndicates, you know, and, and the Pokemon League, you know, the Elite Four and the Champion. Those battles I always found fairly challenging and fairly fun, and for a little while, so it feels a battle... Like, the Battle Subway, or the Battle Frontier, also, or the Battle Tower, will all get, of course, the Battle Tower is part of the Battle Frontier, but in games that have just a Battle Tower, even then, it can, before, the first little bit can be also kind of fun, because they're more, the more challenging ones, but the early, the trainer battles on routes, they're kind of just there as cannon fodder to just get in your way, and to just slow you down, to get, and, and of course, to give you the experience points, but I've never, e- even though I've never even played that strategically, I've never had any trouble with them. And I've always hated battling them because I just use a few moves and they're out. Granted, Black and White and Black 2 and White 2 did. It rectified that a bit. I find that later in the game, some of the ace trainer battles and the veteran kind of trainer battles, there were a lot of tougher, while even wild Pokemon battles and some tougher tr- um, trainer battles, ordinary trainer battles, uh, near the end of Black, White, and as well as Black 2 and White 2. Uh, even that was later in the game. But I think uh, Pokemon X and Y should go further, even. Basically, I want there to be fewer trainers, but the trainers are more difficult, and they're more powerful, so you, of course you get the experience points from them, and of course less of them, so it wouldn't take up more time, necessarily, and you could still get through the game uh, through a reasonable amount of time or so. I think that's where the series would need to improve a bit, and I think that's what would help the series, ultimately. Another big fun well to change I might want them to do, and this will probably work better, this is another thing that will work better for single player, and might slightly be detrimental for multiplayer, maybe giving you more than six Pokemon, and letting your Pokemon learn more than four moves. I find that for the game, it's a bit too limiting. 
Now, I guess in the metagame, maybe having that many Pokemon and having Pokemon have that many moves might get kind of cheap because Pokemon with more diverse move pools might, you know, be able to... Even though I don't know that much about the metagame, I imagine that it could be kind of harmful to it because it makes you more likely to have moves that could counter, uh, that could, say, work better against your checks and counters against, like, say, you know, maybe with the four moves limit, one Pokemon could have some uh, moves that will work better against maybe one of their popular counters, but then maybe not not so well against another, but with the six moves, they can have some moves that would help them out through both of those counters. And of course, the eight po- and of course, having more than six Pokemon, say like eight or so, could have make the the battles unnecessarily longer. But I don't see it as that harmful, or at least it's not more harmful. Does more harm than you know for the meta game than this system would be improve the main game. I think it helps more than it hurts in total. And even then, I could—I don't think it'd be that hard to rectify for the metagame. I mean, all, then, all that you need to do is just implement a system where you can automatically uh, choose from, say, four of your six moves for each Pokemon. See, that doesn't sound that hard to me. <laughs> so I think the golden one, the gold, sort of sweet bo- spot, would be eight Pokemon, uh, and each can learn the maximum of six moves. And I guess my third big wish, part of my wish list for back Block X and Y, not Block 2, Y2, would be, <clears throat> I don't want the games to be as self-contained as previous installments. Up until Black 2, White 2, of course, obviously with the World Tournament, that one was a big, you know, callback to the other gens and the other games. But if you look throughout most of the other games, they really don't feature other regions that much. You get a few cameos here and there, but most of the time, you don't really see very many, say, uh, bosses from other regions, for lack of a better term. So yeah, I guess it's kind of a vague request, but well, I guess one way they could rectify that would be, of course, putting the World Tournament in this one again, and including Elite Four Tournament and Frontier Brain Tournament. I really wish they had that, (coughs) you know, along with the uh, Champion Tournament and the Gym Leader Tournament. Maybe they should have the rivals from the previous games appear as well, and have some of the uh, leaders of the criminal syndicates appear. And and I always thought maybe they could have maybe uh, more callbacks to the previous cities. For instance, maybe they could have... Have uh, like another Poffin. Just an example. I don't, I'm not really a big fan of Pokemon contests from Gen 4, but it would have been kind of cool if perhaps they had Poffin. I uh, said he had, you know, a Poffin like a uh, place again, and uh, and even if it weren't for Pokemon contests, you could have that for just some regular functions in the game. That's just an example I can think of. I'm not saying that they should do that, but they should create some kind of more callbacks to the other ones. So to sum up my wish list, make some fundamental changes to some areas of the gameplay. Two, some of the marginal improvements I suggested for the current. Form formula, you know, namely having less battles that are more challenging and having more freedom with your uh, party, you know, choosing eight, po- having eight Pokemon at once and uh, six moves per Pokemon would be my suggestion. And don't be as self-contained as the previous games have been. Granted, I wouldn't necessarily say that they should recreate the other regions like some people want them to. I think that that would be, that'd be a bit too overboard with their resources. But other than that, I do think that there should, it shouldn't be as self-contained as it usually is. And, well, that's all I really have to say. I'll probably do an update video when more information is released. As I said, there's very, the news is very scarce. If anything I say actually ever gets kind of confirmed, that would be kind of... Or, or if it ends up being, like, the exact opposite, I probably will. Maybe I'll, like, re-upload the video with some of the notes at, with another uh, segment at the end talking about it. But for now, this is really all I can say. Not much to speculate on. That was my wish list. Hope you liked it. If you have more wishes, maybe the genie will come to our comment section and grant them. So, but, I mean, I'm I, then again, I already have taken three, but I don't know. Maybe he'll feel generous and give one of you lucky commenters a fourth. Goodbye. And just as soon as I finished making that and producing it, there's more information leaked. There are four new Pokemon. You can uh, find this information in many places on YouTube. Not much really shakes up any of the parts of my video, though. I thought I should just mention that. There is, however, a slight amount of customization. Now, customization is something I forgot to mention it would definitely go in the list of changing up things in the formula. I, I don't know if it would go in section one or section two of my wish list, 
but it's something. Not very much. I think you can just choose between your skin tone and your hair color, really, it, to my knowledge. The new four new Pokemon look okay. Uh, I actually think there's going to be one where you can ride on it in some areas. It's going to be restricted, I think, but there are some areas in the game where you can ride the Pokemon. So I, it's something new. doesn't really sound like much more of a leap from what I've seen previous in, in, from previous gens. But, you know, this is a wish list, so not everything's going to come true. That's all I have to say for now. Um, I guess I'm, I'm, fi I'm glad we finally have some news, but it doesn't... I'm not seeing any evidence that my first wish, or even my second or third, are going to be granted. I'm not seeing any evidence of that. Or anything that disproves any of the speculation I mentioned, either. That's pretty much all I have to say about this. Uh, thanks for watching.